Hi everybody, my name is Nico Cowell. I use he, him pronouns, and I'm a program manager at the San Francisco Community Health Center. And I'm joined by my fabulous co-worker. Hi Nico. Everyone, I'm Renz, and I do prep navigation for San Francisco Community Health Center. I use she, her, and hers pronoun. Thank you, Renz. So as I'm sure it's on everybody's mind with this whole COVID-19 and shelter in place, we at San Francisco Community Health Center really wanted to come together and put together some messages about our services, but also just information that you might feel like you need to know. So Rents and I are going to talk to you a little bit about prep. So Rents, you know, as a prep user, I know that I'm supposed to come in and get routine tested every three months and making sure that my labs and everything look good. What should I be doing right now? That's a very important and really good question, Nico. So with regards to labs and the whole prep uptake, I know that it's supposed to be scheduled every three months, but it's also a conversation that you need to have with your provider because there needs to be an update or a check-in as to how you're doing with adherence and what are your risk factors currently. And yes, if your risk are if your risk are low, then there's a possibility that you can actually postpone your regular testing and labs for you know a later date. All right, thanks, Rance. And now, you know, with this time of social distancing, I'm assuming that people are having a lot less sex. Should we even be having sex? And is it important for me to stay on prep right now if I'm not having sex? And what are some concerns that I should keep in mind if I decide to go off prep at this point? So thank you again, Nico, because that brings up a very good point. As much as we also want to continue seeing our patients, on a regular basis with following the shelter in place and also social distancing we really have to limit our contact with everyone and you know it's really to help help prevent the spread of the coronavirus right so um that also brings up why why even take prep because you know i don't really get to go out and i i can't come close to anyone um, at all, being that we have to distance at least six feet apart, right? So um, that's a very good question. And we don't exactly enforce any decision or action for our clients because it's their decision to, to make. If they want to stop, if they want to have sex, then we can only really provide safe ways or tips to you know just just to make it safer but in terms of like stopping prep that's also a conversation that you need to have with your provider because again you need to assess the risk and also the provider as, as well as a, as a patient needs to just review the risk factors that um, they are currently um, experiencing or they have because you don't only necessarily get HIV from sex. There's also injection drug users who share needles, for example, that can get HIV. So it's so important to have that conversation with your provider. Great. Thanks so much for that information, Rens. I feel like it was all super useful. My key takeaway is that everybody's situation is a little bit unique and you should talk to your provider. So that's it for us today, but we will have more prep facts coming your way soon. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.